Hi, I'm Tara, and welcome to another episode of Game Station 2.0. Having been released in October of 2010, Vanquish may be considered old by video game standards, but that's not gonna stop the game station from reviewing it. How else are we gonna take away precious minutes of your life that you'll never get back? Let's check out the review of this ancient game from the creators of the Resident Evil series as Rich Evans enters the Game Station 2.0, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Oh, they got someone to fill this room after the last guy died mysteriously. Huh? Hi, I'm Jay, I'm in 609. Oh, hi, I'm, I'm Rich. How did you get out of your game station? Oh, the door's always open. Y yeah, but every time I try to leave, they, they close right in my face. Huh, that's weird. Hey, I'm supposed to review this game Vanquish today, but I really just kind of don't feel like it. Do you think you could just take care of that for me? They don't yell at you when your reviews aren't finished on time? Eh, they're pretty laid back around here. I'm gonna go take a nap. Huh. I recently saw the trailer for Metal Gear Rising by Platinum Games, and it reminded me a lot of one of their last titles, Vanquish, from back in 2010. Both games have over-the-top action and giant robots. What I don't understand is why Vanquish was so overlooked. In Vanquish, you play a solid snake, or I mean, Sam Gideon, the test pilot for an experimental accelerator suit that speeds up his reaction times. It also has thrusters built into it that allow you to speed from cover to cover, or also from one end of the battlefield to the other in no time flat. The game takes place in the future, and the Russians are communist again. You'll have to keep the space commies from using a giant space microwave from frying New York City. It's not particularly deep, but it's not trying to be, and it works fine for what it is, a simple framework to hang an excellent action game on. Vanquish was like the next evolution in third-person shooters. They took a cover-based shooter, much like Gears of War, and they strapped rocket boots on its feet. This element of speed changes everything. Gears of War is by and large a plotting game. Usually it's smart just to stay behind cover and take pot shots at your enemies. Vanquish changes all of that. You can still sit behind cover and snipe, but why do that when you can leap over the cover and use your rocket boots to glide behind enemy lines, all the while using bullet time to unleash a full clip on your enemy on the way there? or you could power slide into an enemy robot, knock it back, and then flip off it into the air and unload a shotgun to its face, all in slow motion. Hey, uh, I'm having an orgy down in my room. You're not invited, of course, but could I borrow some ice from your minibar? Minibar? Wait, you have a minibar? Yeah, this is the greatest job I've ever had. Job? You, you mean you get paid? Fuck my life. There are a bunch of different weapons to be found in Vanquish, from the tried and true shotguns, sniper rifles, or rocket launchers. But Vanquish also has some unique weaponry, more specialized armament. There's the disc launcher, which shoots out spinning buzz saws that can shear off enemy limbs, or the lock-on laser that can target multiple enemies at once. You can upgrade weapons, so by the end of the game, your standard assault rifle can be pretty beastly. Each weapon also has its own unique melee attack, and all of the different animations for them can be pretty fun to watch. For instance, the melee attack for the heavy machine gun will have you do a powerful kick, which will send you up into the air, allowing you to shoot enemies hiding behind cover. It's worth mentioning that Vanquish is the most fun I've had with a shotgun since Doom 2. It has a powerful knockback, so it's really quite fun to jump right into a large group of smaller robots and send them flying back, or knock them onto their feet as they leap at you. The two complaints I've heard leveled about this game are that the story is cheesy and that there is no multiplayer. The story is really a non-issue. It's deliberately cheesy and over the top, and it's really just an excuse to have an action game. The lack of multiplayer should not keep you from playing this game. It's the single best single player third person shooter I've ever played. The game is a complete blast. Hell, I hate quick time events, and even the quick time events in this game are fun. Vanquish has been out for a couple of years now. You can probably find a copy pretty cheap somewhere. I highly recommend you give it a try. Unit 603, idiot. What the fuck are you doing? That is not an authorized review for your game station. You are fucking up protocol. Uh, well, yeah, but you see, well, I was only trying to... Hey, are you done reviewing my game yet? Oh, hey, Jay, how's it going? 
Oh, hey, 913. You know, I was going to stop by your party a little later tonight, but I got tied up with work. Oh, that's okay. I'll see you at the employee banquet tomorrow. Oh, shit. Is that tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what I heard? Surf and turf. Ooh. Lobster tail, filet mignon, the works. That sounds oh. awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. No, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. It's an employee banquet. Does, does that mean I can go? Oh, my dad!